All right, guys, so we got an unboxing today. Uh, actually, these snakes came in about like 38 degrees when I received them. So I wanted to get them in right away, get them heated up, make sure they're feeding. And the big girl we received, which you'll see here momentarily, uh, she was in shed. So I make sure she got out of shed first before I show you these amazing snakes. So let's jump right into it. First of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, Garrett at Reach Out Reptiles. Um, I did not buy these snakes from him because obviously, as you know, he sells dwarf and super dwarf retics. And uh, we don't have any of those at the moment. These are ball pythons, but I'm going to change his shirt real quick. And then we'll talk about who the supplier was, why I buy from them, and show you some snakes. All right, guys, we're back. So, Breeder Circle, Isaac Martinez, um, why I buy from them. I feel, my experience talking with the gentleman in person, as well as the people that work for him, uh, he's a great guy. I know a lot of other breeders who use him. Uh, he's got really high quality animals. I also like, I wish I'd brought one in here. He sends each one with a little certificate. It tells you what the genetics of the sire and the dame were. It also tells you, I believe, when they were born, has a picture of them, and it puts your name on it. So it's almost like a birth certificate for them. Uh, I just think it's really nice. It's classy. It's well done. And like I said, the animals arrive. They're always healthy. I've never had any issues. And because of that, I continue to go back to get animals uh, from him. I feel they're worth it. The prices are always right. And you can find them on Facebook if you're looking for them. It's Breeder Circle on Facebook. They also have a website. I believe it's breedingcircle.com. You can find them. Uh, I think they have a YouTube page. Uh, they do have Instagram. The whole nine yards. I'll put some of the links down in the uh, description below. But that's one of the places I recommend getting. First one here. I've just got a small girl here. She is a pastel yellow belly spot nose. So three genes, three really good genes in my opinion, will be definitely useful down the road. You see a nice yellow belly pattern. Good eater. I've never had a problem with a snake coming from breeding circle or breeder circle, I should say, uh, when it comes to eating. They all eat well. And this is just just a beautiful animal, nice and bright. The yellows are real nice and bright. The yellow belly with the pastel helps do that. The blushing on the head from the pastel. This is going to be an incredible breeder in about two years. She's going to do us very well. And it'll help get spot nose into a lot more items out there for us. So, I'm going to show you her really good. Okay, and then we'll... All right, everybody, here she is. As you can see, large. Uh, she is a full-grown, breed-ready, actually breeder-proven, female 100% het pied. So my idea here, obviously, is we're going to use her with our pied male, and probably, if not him, maybe our champagne pet pied male and we're going to shoot for some pieds this year with her uh, she bred this year she laid 10 eggs so she's already laid 10 eggs in august um, i was told by breeder circle that her next uh lay time or i should say next time she'd be ready to be bred would be starting in march so somewhere around march to april we'll start pairing her up with boys and we're going to see what we can get out of her. I mean, she is very, very beautiful. Uh, obviously, just a single uh, het gene. She is a normal otherwise. Just 100% proven het for piebald. So, like I said, though, good girl. Power eater. And she smashed two rats this week. No problem for us. Um, I do not have any issues. She, sh she shut out just fine. Okay, so we do have this girl here. And then we have our pastel pied. So she's not upsized. She's got about a year and a half to go. But we also have a large visual pied female. So we've got three pieds. Um, we're probably going to be good for a little bit. We'll have some holdbacks, obviously. And those ones will grow up for future projects. We probably won't buy any more female pieds. Um, 
we have the one visual male pied and then like I said the one champagne het pied so we'll we'll get him proved out and then this will probably be about it for this year or next year when it comes to our pied projects but yeah I just wanted to show you this big girl here that we picked up I mean like I said the idea of having her a proven pied female or hat pied female is uh, definitely going to help us get to where we're looking to go quite a bit quicker with our pie projects. And she is just massive. So that's it for the two we had unboxed. Uh, we did get two others. They're currently in quarantine. Once they make it out of quarantine, I'll get them up as well. I have another girl who's due to come out of quarantine, I think in about a week or so. So once she gets in, we'll get her settled in, get her in here and eating. And then I'll do a little video on her as well. Another breed size female who is ready to go and I've got a male ready for her. So plans are ready. I just got to get everything working and uh, we'll be good to go, I hope. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry, it's been a few weeks. There just hasn't been a lot to uh, update you with at the moment. We're really looking forward to the 2019 season. You know, not only with our Facebook group, but also with Instagram. Uh, putting up a lot more videos, a lot more informational videos. I'd like to go through the racks and actually sit down and do some uh, some videos based on genetics. I think that'd be really helpful to a lot of people and it'd be really, really nice to do. So there's that. We might go through the entire rack system here and just take a day and show you all the snakes we have. I mean, we're at, I think, 52 now. So, you know, we're moving up. We got eggs. Hopefully, they'll be dropping in the next couple months. And uh, we got a busy 2019 season. And I hope you guys are all ready to stay with us. And um, hope you guys are, you know, looking forward to this like we are as well. So stay up, stay happy, enjoy yourselves. Have a great holiday season. The next couple ones coming up. Um, have a great holiday season. You got Christmas right around the corner, and then we got New Year's. Be safe. Enjoy the time with your family, and uh, let's hit 2019 running real hard, and uh, let's do everything we can to make uh, make it a great year, and it's successful in breeding, and successful in building your uh, your collections, and of course, uh, if there's anything you ever need, just hit me up on Facebook or at my email. All that information will be down below. I'm always here to help any way I can. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great one.